Hello everyone, Denise here from Denise Alicia Photography, and this is going to be pretty much just a Q&A uh, video. Um, I've been getting this question a lot on my Facebook page, um, and a lot of people want to know, what do I use to edit my photos? Now, I only use two programs, and one of them is the main power horse, and the other one is just the stamp logo, for the most part. So, the two programs that I use are from the Adobe Creative Suite. I have um, Adobe Lightroom 4, and I use Photoshop CS5. Yeah, CS5. So, Adobe Lightroom 4 and Adobe CS5. Now, if you are watching this video uh, in 2013, um, Adobe has recently announced the Creative Cloud, um, so you would have like Photoshop CC, um, and Lightroom 5 has just recently come out. Um, at this point, um, there's some bugs in Lightroom 5 that need to be worked out before I can fully switch to it, but it's definitely a viable upgrade for myself. Um, as, of, as to Photoshop, because it's a program that I don't really use as often, I really don't see myself upgrading as of yet to the Creative Cloud version. So, as you can probably tell, Lightroom is my main power horse. So I'll pull it up right here for you. And here I'm working on a specific photo for a senior session I did. Now, what I like about Lightroom is the simplicity, um, ease of use, but you can do so much to a photo. And it also just helps your workflow um, as it's, it's just amazing to me. Now, not only do what I like about um, Lightroom is that I can create my own presets. And I've created some um, here that I just attach and instantly my photo changes. Now, I did these uh, presets on my own and I can... I do sell some presets if you're interested. So if you see any photos here that you want a preset to, I can always sell those to you. Um, so what I do is I make my own presets. I just easily import them. And I just tweak as I see fit. So um, Lightroom, again, is really easy. All of your image um, modifications are here on the right-hand side. And um, what I like about better, uh, what I like l about Lightroom, sorry, I got tongue-tied. What I like about Lightroom better versus Photoshop is that um, in Photoshop things are hidden in menus as to where Lightroom everything is out there because it's just strictly for image editing not so much creating things like Photoshop. What I also like about it is it's really easy to control your library. You can easily develop your photos through this menu. If there is a geotag location on your photo from your camera it will pinpoint it here. Um, which I like, but I don't necessarily use, to be honest with you. Now, I do apologize for the lag that you might see in the program. I am running some uh, RAM intrusive programs, um, so it might take a little bit for things to pop up. But as you can see here, this is what I'm talking about. It pulls up a map, and you can pretty much pinpoint um, where you took these photos. Um, book, pretty much making an album. Um, it sets up how it would, how the page will be, um, and you can easily edit and tweak that as you see fit. Now again, I'm sorry for the lag. I am running three programs as of right now that are very, very, very intrusive. So as you can see here, this is your book, your front cover, your back cover, um, your page one, page two, page three, and you can easily um, make a photo album <coughs> from this. So here you can also make slideshows, um, and I use this um, for weddings in particular. You can, when you're at a wedding or event and you have your laptop around and you do a quick edit uh, during cocktail hour, um, you can just do a quick, quick edit of some ceremony photos, maybe about 10, and you just play a slideshow through your laptop screen. And it really just shows the bride that you're on top of things and um, makes them feel very comfortable with you in particular, that you're actually getting things started. Print, um, this is pretty much if you want to print your own photos. And what I like about this is that you can easily um, get different sizes of your photos onto a page. And I use this a lot for, for proofs, um, printed proofs. Um, a lot of online proofs, I don't like to trust them because 
the calibration on your client's screen is not the same as the calibration on your screen. So what you see on your monitor is totally different than what your client sees. You don't know if they're looking at it through a laptop screen, a desktop monitor, a widescreen TV that totally blows out the image. So you want to make sure, at least for me, it's easier. It is more costly, but I can print these on my own. I will print a proof sheet and have them look at it where it's big enough to where they can see it and appreciate the photo and appreciate the color and everything. Um, so I prefer it better and that's why I like this. Now if I was to print something like an 8x10, um, you could, I could print it from home but I choose to outsource to a lab just because of the quality of the paper is totally different than one I can print here at home. So I definitely use this a lot for proofs. Um, as of right now, this is my main power horse. This is what I use to edit most of my photos. Here's another one that I have worked on um, and I just recently embedded here. Um, this is more of my styles, the vintage style, vintage feel. Um, so once I'm done with that photo, I'll come here and open it in Photoshop. So let me open here an image just to quickly uh, show you what is it that I do. And we'll pull up the image you just saw. We'll open this. Now, <clears throat> for if you really need to do some extensive, extensive uh, photo retouching, maybe your client has a crooked nose and you're doing a very glamour photo, sh uh, like a uh, fashion photo session, and you need her nose and things to be perfect and her eyes to be leveled and things, um, where liquify is pretty much used. Um, that Photoshop is great when you have to do really extensive editing. Um, I really don't use Photoshop for much. I really just come here. I have my logo preset already. So really, really when I log into Photoshop <clears throat> and pull up my image, I have my logo in the size I want it and stamp. And that's it. Then I export the image and call it a day. So I do all of my editing pretty much on Lightroom. And then I come into Photoshop and just stamp my logo on it. And call it a day. That is it for my editing. Um, so if you have any questions uh, about Lightroom or about Photoshop, I can answer to the best of my ability. I'm more versed in uh, Lightroom than I am in Photoshop. So I'm sorry if you are an extensive Photoshop user. I'm not very familiar with layers and all these things. I really just use it uh, to stamp my logo for the most part. Um, I do know the basics of layers and how to, to perfect someone's face and really align things. And But um, I like to, to just keep it very natural, keep it easy and simple. So I use Lightroom. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. You can also email me. The links will be all down in the description. You can also visit my Facebook and my website. Again, links down in the description. Um, if I've also had a question, if I don't have the money to afford Photoshop, what program can I use? Now, the best program that I have seen, and I don't know if there's others out there, so if you know of other programs, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below for others to, to look at it. Um, but the program that I have used before Photoshop was GIMP. And it's not a bad program whatsoever. It is a little different. Um, there's many versions out there. It's out, It's uh, open source and it's free. So you can easily download it from the internet. Um, and it's a great alternative to Photoshop. It might. It is a little learning curve to it, but once you get the hang of it, it's smooth sailing from there. It's not really much different from Photoshop. So again, guys, thank you for watching. This has been Denise from Denise Alicia Photography. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.